Hey y'all, I'm back. Today we are doing L, whichever way that's supposed to be, I'm not sure. Um, and we're going to do L for lemon poppy seed meringues. This is actually a Weight Watcher recipe and each one is only worth one point. So, you know, if you want a snack and you're on Weight Watchers, you could have one or two of these depending on how many points you have left for the day. So um, you make them with egg whites, of course, because they're meringues. So I've already gotten four egg whites in this little bowl. I'm gonna pour it right in my mixer and I'm going to put a fourth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar in with the egg whites. So I'm gonna get that started. I'm just gonna beat it to the soft peak stage and then I'll start adding the sugar. So um, I'm not gonna make you listen while I run this mixer but uh, because it's kind of noisy, but I will show you the results when I get to the soft stage. So hold on. Okay, that only took about a minute and you can see there, there it looks white and fluffy, but it's real soft still. So not, not stiff peaks at all. So now I'll start adding in three-fourths of a cup of sugar. And this is just regular granulated sugar. And I'm gonna add it in gradually while the mixer's going. So again, I'm not gonna make you endure that noise. So just hold on and uh, I'll show you uh, what it looks like when it gets really uh, stiff peaks that form. So hold on. Okay, I want you to see this and you can, so you can see the stiff peak when I lift it up. You see that nice stiff peak there? That's what you want. And it has a really glossy shine to it as well. So now we've got that going. So hold on. Okay, so now I have the bowl of meringue and I'm going to add in one tablespoon of poppy seeds like this. I've got a big jar of them. Um, a great, uh, got the zest off of this lemon. You can see it kind of looks white now where I zested it off of there with a fine grater. Then I put a teaspoon of just regular lemon juice. I didn't cut the lemon cause I'm going to use that for something else. So I just had some lemon juice, real lemon juice here, a teaspoon of that and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And I've got it all right here in this little dish. So now I'm just going to stir, gently fold this in to the meringue. Let me get it in there and show you what I'm doing. Hold on. All right, so I've just got that in there and I'm just gonna gently fold that in so that the lemon flavor and the poppy seed gets all in here. Mixed in really good. Make sure I didn't leave any in this little dish. I think I got it all. So that's all in there. Now I'm going to, you could dip these out by tablespoons it also said you could put it in a, a pastry bag and squeeze them out and make them look a little more decorative. So I'm going to try that and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I don't know if y'all know this trick, but you take your pastry bag after you put your little tip on the end of it and then you stick it down in a glass and fold the edges over. And it just makes it easier for when you're putting your um, stuff in the pastry bag. So. Gonna fill this pastry bag, adding those that little bit of liquid in here. These don't feel as stiff as they did. I hope, I hope it'll work out. But anyhow, now then, I'm just gonna pull this up like this, twist the top. I've got my little tip down here at the bottom. I'm just going to squeeze that down. And now we'll get over here onto the, this. So we'll see how this does. Oh, that looks pretty. Oh, 
this is pretty easy and they look pretty fancy, don't they? So I'll keep doing this and then we're gonna, I've got the oven preheating to 200 degrees because these are gonna bake in the oven for a while. And I'll get back with you in a minute. Okay, you can see it made a big tray. I made some of them larger and some of them smaller, so you know it may take these not as long to dry as it does to those. But now I'm gonna put them in the oven. It's, based, it's set at 200, and I'm gonna cook them for, I think about an hour. So um, let me check the recipe real quick. I think it says, actually they're gonna cook about an hour and a half until they're no longer sticky. So we'll see how that goes around here. But I'm gonna tell you what, I know you're not supposed to, um, I know you're not really supposed to eat raw eggs, but y'all, I tasted this batter, and oh my gosh, it is so flavorful. Mm. A little bit of the poppy seed, and the sweetness, they just, those are, these things are gonna just melt in my mouth, I know. Anyhow, I can't wait to get them in the oven. I'll get back with you in about an hour and a half. Okay, y'all, I just turned the oven off. They cooked, well, they actually cooked for an hour and a half. Halfway through that hour and a half, I switched them from the middle rack to an upper rack. And then, and then after the hour and a half was up, then I just turned the oven off and let them sit there for another hour, at least an hour, maybe hour and a half. And they are, I don't know if you can hear that. See, they're very crispy. And look how cute they are. Mm. Mm. So lemony, oh my gosh, very good. So that was one point I'm eating right here. So anyhow, these are really cute. Y'all go ahead and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm getting close to 1,300 followers now. And I'd really like to reach it. And send me your ideas for M. I'll see you soon. Love y'all.